trying to medicate our pain by using a particular relationship or even thoughts of a particular person is some kind of a subconscious mistake that we could do. Initially, we may start to use this attachment as a distraction in our life and to avoid certain responsibilities or making certain decisions or to run away from frustrations of life, we may get ourselves into this particular relationship. But then eventually it kind of leads us into an oblivion, which we kind of just don't have awareness of our motivation and intention about this particular relationship. And we can get caught up in the intensity of attachment with this particular person. And then we start to merge ourselves with this person and our identity becomes so entwined with this person that anything that's happening, we feel like our core sense of identity is affected. And these experiences, initially we may think it's a brave thing. Anything goes, I'm so desperate, I really want this person. I really wanna give myself to this person. Initially it's exciting, but then eventually it kind of leads us into looking for real meaning and purpose of why we're doing this and what is our life meant for. And we can lose ourselves and our purpose and forget ourselves in trying to attempt in merging with this person. And these experiences can become overwhelmingly com compelling. It's almost like an obsession. It's like it becomes like an addiction towards this person, to think about this person, to want to be with this person. In the beginning, it's all very exciting. Eventually, it becomes less and less willing and we just feel like caught up, we feel trapped, we feel like we've lost control over ourselves. And then this emotional attachment becomes like a, such a longing and craving that makes us feel miserable. So it becomes an obsession, it turns into a compulsion. And then this compulsion becomes our master, trying to take control of our mind. So this unhealthy dependence on another human being, whether it's our spouse, whether it's somebody we want to get married to, maybe it's a spiritual mentor, we may put unrealistic expectation on this person and then suffer the consequences of it. So this cannot last in the long term. So it's important to distinguish, discriminate. If we're trying to use this relationship to cover our pains and give all sorts of justification, and stop denying and start working on coming back to ourselves and re-establishing our relationship with God primarily. I hope this helps.